Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'll be showing you how to install Nginx Proxy Manager on Home Assistant. I'll walk you through step by step and uh, you should by the end of the tutorial know how to uh, get everything running and uh, start working with it. So I just want to uh, thank you all for 50 subscribers. It means a lot to me and uh, I, I'm just doing this channel to help people out and uh, doing tutorials like I would like to have when I was just starting and learning back then and um, so I really like to go detailed through everything and explain every inch to everybody and I think that's the way to make good tutorials and uh, to get people to be better at technology so uh, this series is about starting a smart home from scratch so I'm gonna be going over and installing software to uh, get into home automations and project reviews stuff like that so if you like that subscribe comment like and let's get started. So we're gonna start out on the Nginx Proxy Manager uh, website. I'll put a link down in the description for it. So expose your services easily and securely. So this means that you will need to port forward your 443 port to your local IP address, whatever uh, your home assistant's on. <clears throat> so now we're going to, um, it says it's gonna expose web services on your network, free SSL with Let's Encrypt, and design with security in mind, perfect for home networks. So proxy host, <clears throat> so expose your private network, a web service can get connected anywhere. Beautiful UI based on tabler, free SSL, Docker, and multiple users. I did have a video on installing uh, Nginx Proxy Manager on Docker, and I'll link it down in the description too. So, let's go ahead and let's go over to a Home Assistant install. And I've got a fresh install right here, and I'm going to um, go to settings right here. We're gonna go to add-ons. Then we're going to add on store down here. And before we can install Nginx Proxy Manager on Home Assistant, we also need to install a database. So um, the database that it wants is MariaDB. Um, so let's go ahead and install MariaDB. MariaDB. Okay, now let's go ahead and press install. And then it's installed and uh, up. So let's turn on Watchdog. So if it fails for any reason, it restarts itself. Let's go over to configuration right here. And I'm gonna put in a password. So I'm gonna just say password is password. So I'm gonna say save down here. And then I'm gonna go over to the info again. I'm gonna go to start right here. Click the start button. It's going to uh, boot up the uh, DB for us and should be up and running. Okay, now I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go to Home Assistant Community Add-ons right here. I'm going to go down to Nginx Proxy Manager. And it gives documentation right here on how to set it up. So I'm going to install right here. Okay, now I'm going to turn on start on boot. So that means that when you restart Home Assistant, it will boot up with it. So I'm going to turn on Watchdog. Uh, so if the container fails for any reason, it's going to restart it. Okay, I'm going to go to configuration. You can see that it has a 443 for the SSL port, HTTPS port. Okay, now it's got 80 for the HTTP port and then 81 for the admin panel port for Nginx Proxy Manager. <clears throat> this is where you see logs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right here. Once this boots up, um, it's booting up right here. You can see CPU usage right here, RAM. So I'm gonna go over to the web UI now. And you can see we do have a login screen now. 
and it's booted up on our home assistant. So I'm going to type in the default username password. So that would be admin at example.com. Then the password will be change me. And then I'm going to press sign in. Now you can change your full name, your nickname, and you can also put in a new email address. So I'm going to put in my new email address real quick. Okay, I'm going to press save right here once you get all this information on. Then I'm going to put in change me as the current password because that's the current password that we just put in to log in. Then I'm going to put a new password in. So I'm going to put a new password in. So now once you put a new password in, you confirm the new password. I'm going to press save right here. Okay, as you can see, I did change the email and I changed the password and that is required. Okay, so you have your proxy host, your redirection host, and your 404 host. So you can go over to host up here and go to proxy host. And then you can put in your domains, custom locations, SSL, advanced. So you can do a custom engine configuration. Uh, it's got predefined variables up here. You can also turn on cache assets, block common exploits, and WebSocket support. So I'm going to go backwards, and it has redirection host to where you can redirect. So now you can redirect to multiple choices, 301, 302, 303, 307, and 308. So you can write, write, you can put a domain in here, then you can forward it to this domain. And you can pick the scheme that you're going to forward to. You can block common exploits down here. Then I'm going to go to 404 host, and then you can see that hey, you can put a domain in here. Then you can add a Let's Encrypt certificate. You can add custom Nginx configuration. And then you have your access list. So you can put an access to where you can have a username and password and it's on basic authentication for Nginx. And then you can add IPs that are whitelisted and IPs that are blacklisted. So if you see somebody trying to log into it, it's not allowed. You can deny it and allow it. Deny and allow. So you can go over to SSL certificates can add uh, an SSL certificate to server reachability. You can use DNS challenge instead of using a domain challenge to where, um, a, so this will make it to where you just put in your DNS provider and then you put in your, your propagation seconds. Once you put in the DNS provider, you're gonna need a token or an API key for these. So you can see that it needs API keys to uh, to, uh, to connect to the DNS provider. So you can also go with a um, a domain challenge to, to where it, it will go to a specific uh, subdomain on this domain and be able to verify it, let a license grip will. And then you just agree to the terms of use. You can also go to users right here. You can add a new user, so full name, nickname, email, and give it administrator access if you want to. If you don't want to, toggle it off. You can disable the user too. It keeps up with your logs on what the specific users are doing. And you can also go into the settings and go to, to where you change the unknown host uh, default page. So you can change to 404, redirect, custom page, so custom HTML here, you can change it to redirect URL to where it redirects anybody that hits a unknown host to this specific domain. So, and then you can go over to edit details. You can change your own details with this current user. You can change your current pa password too in here. So that is how to get Nginx Proxy Manager working on Home Assistant. So there you have it, how to get Nginx Proxy Manager working on Home Assistant. This makes it to where you can just port forward your 443 port on your router and to the local IP 
on the Home Assistant and make it to where uh, you port forward to 443 on Home Assistant and uh, you put your domains in in your proxy manager and you put your net, uh, your domain inside of your uh, DNS provider um, and you just forward it to your home IP on 443. So if you like my tutorials, subscribe, comment, like, and also if you need any support, uh, join the Big Bear community uh, and also you can comment down below. Thank you and stay tuned for more.